First of all, I'm going to have to do a separate video for evictions because I see a lot of you all wait until you get that knock on the door from the sheriff and then your stuff is tossed out in the street and I don't want that to happen to you. If you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, they currently leave the nation in evictions. In 2022, they had over 57,000 evictions. Their average monthly rent is $1,420 and they currently have over 80,000 people waiting for low-income housing. They just don't have enough of it, y'all. So you might want to rethink your decision to move to For sure that Las Vegas leads the nation among cities in evictions. Experts say it's going to get worse. Close to 60,000 families were evicted just last year. Surging rent is certainly a factor. The average rent is now 1420 a month. So the troubling trend is tied to COVID relief programs that have been ending. So CHAP helped make payments for 70,000 households across the valley during the pandemic. The program ended earlier this year, and now the poorest families have to make a tough choice between rent and food. Back in March, the government halted the second monthly payment for SNAP benefits, and advocates say there's just not enough services for locals that need help. They gave him what, 10 minutes to get everything out. There were marshals. And he couldn't grab any of my medical. Um, I have medical, medical stuff. It was very hard. Step spoke to me by phone. She is wheelchair bound and tells me how her whole family got evicted. She says many others out there are struggling and is not surprised that a Princeton University think tank called the Eviction Lab shows Las Vegas leads the nation among major cities for evictions. This time is just a difficult time, but I, you know, I'm trying to survive and I'm staying with my family. My husband is elsewhere, um, close to work. And it makes it hard for us because we hardly see him. Step says after her husband's airport job took a hit in the pandemic, Clark County's CHAP program helped pay rent. Last fall, the program halted payments. With their bad credit and no savings for a deposit, the family can't find anywhere to live. We've been slammed. Last year alone, we had 60,000 evictions in Clark County in Las Vegas Justice Court. Historically, we only have about 30,000. Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada says these stats don't even count evictions in Henderson or North Las Vegas. Attorney Aaron McDonald says there's just not enough resources for everyone in the Valley who needs help. The latest stats show Nevada is short 84,000 units for the poorest Nevadans to live. There's long wait lists for folks that need affordable housing. You know, rents are up across the board, so it's making the problem even worse. It's compounding the issue. You see all walks of life getting evicted right now. Lower income folks, but now we're seeing people have just got laid off during the pandemic and never got back on their feet. A lot of families, you know, a lot of folks that traditionally wouldn't be facing eviction. Legal Aid says to avoid an eviction, apply for any and all rental aid programs and respond to all rent or eviction notices. Legal Aid also has a new eviction diversion program. The link is in this story on our website on foxnavegas.com.